Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is James from Crenshaw Central Gaming and we are continuing our walkthrough of Dead Island. Um, in the last episode we started, we went inside the hotel for the Born to be Wild main quest to where we would have to get the big truck out of the garage here at the hotel. When we got inside the hotel, we noticed we were being watched by some security guy and he wanted us to help out uh, his friend Ken before he told us how to get to the garage. And we ended the last video where we made it to Ken. So. Here's Ken here. We're going to search the trash can and then we're going to talk to Ken and find out what can we do for him. I need something for the pain. Otherwise, I ain't gonna fucking make it. Please, give me something. Yeah, there, uh, there was a first aid kit with, uh, with morphine in the medical room. If you, uh, if you can find it. Hurry. Okay, so he wants us to find him some morphine. So let's take a look. That really ain't all that difficult if I remember right. But when we get inside these doors here, this is what I wanted to show y'all at the end. Of the last episode and I was in the wrong part of the the hotel. I was almost there. We'll be going inside these doors here later on in the uh, in the game, probably later on in this episode maybe. And that's that's going to be a lot of fun but we're going to open up this door here and we got a thug we got to beat before we can get to the morphine and this guy comes out swinging so I want to come out swinging even more I mean, we don't necessarily have to beat this, kill this guy. It just makes it a whole lot easier if we do. I see a snack bar here. I'm running low on life, so I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Um, I'm going to come in here and kill the, the walker that's in here. There's the morphine. Um, it'd be nice if we could use that morphine, but there is an energy drink in here, so we will take it, and a coat and a hat rack, that becomes something, I ain't going to say is very popular, but it is something you'll start seeing later on in the game especially in act three and I will admit I did use it as a weapon at one point in time playing this and it was actually decent I mean it wasn't the best weapon to use but it wasn't half bad as I find some more of spots to look. I'm just going to run past this guy and go ahead and complete this part of the side quest. Oh yeah. That's better. But I need more.
just just wanted just wanted to see it, Mum. Just wanted to see the puppy. I'm so sorry I, I made you mad, Mama. I just that would be me. Mum, that would be me. I just just. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why you say no to drugs. The guy got exuberantly high off of morphine. That drink machine doesn't work. That's not good for us. Especially when we got one who has a pipe that he wants to to throw at us. But we'll make it through this. We always have. We may die once or twice, but we'll make it through it. Ooh, he's still swinging that thing. You're dead now. He's carrying a rusty pipe, like I thought. We have no. <clears throat> no real need for it. Um, we got a couple of walkers here that wants our attention. Make that three or four here that wants our attention. And I think I got myself trapped in between that white board there and it was the reason why I got knocked down but that takes care of two of them well I think it's three of them that one's now dead so now here's the fourth one it's dead is this drink machine nope that drink machine ain't working either Oh snap. And I was just too far gone. And I tried to find me some energy drinks and I was just just too far gone. But they put a weapon in my hand that is gone. I I don't understand that really. Um We find some more facts. Uh, there's a snack that would have come in great handy a minute ago. Take care of these while they're chasing me. Now what I could do is I could jump down, it ain't that high, go back and repair all my weapons, but I ain't going to do that. I think I have a spot coming up where I can. I'm already about to die again. But I was not playing when I said this part of the game was really hard. Oh snap, I didn't see you in here. Find some more lemon here. juice. Not really what I was hoping for, but... Okay, let's check out this cash register. It's got $239 in it. 
take a snack. We got a couple of them heading our way. Um, I'm lucky I didn't run out of stamina while I was back here like that. Um, is this drink machine? Yes, it is. Got some more champagne to give Psycho Chick. But as you see, energy drinks are five dollars. To me right now, that's a small price to pay to, to get my health back up and to actually stay alive. Um, yeah, he's going to break out and attack us anyway, so we might as well just go ahead and get a weapon that is actually good and, and kill him. And we break down the glass here. And then we're going to be going in there here in just a second as well. But I want to check all these computers here because most, I mean, they will have something that will be very beneficial to us as we... So we have to kill these. The bigger they are. That one was quick as hell. Before he will allow us. Before the security guy will allow us to to go further. He ain't quite dead yet. Okay, so now we unlock the door. I uh, searched that. Got some nails. Dump the thing. See, we got another drink machine here. I uh, buy an energy drink there. And we have another workbench. And right now, I needed that because two of my weapons were absolutely gone and two more were close to it now we're going to talk to Mike Davies here in just a second but I want to search these computers for anything and everything I can get. Um, I think that's it, so let's. Oh no, let's see what's in here. It may be useful. An exotic mace. Now that's a new weapon for us. Um, so. Before we talk to him, I want to come back in here and get this to a uh, four star, four circle. That's just about all the money I got now. So now let's talk to Mike Davies. Listen, the hotel security system is fraud. Some of the security cams are deactivated, and some of the key corridors have been blocked, including the one to the parking garage. It needs to be rebooted. Luckily, you can reset it manually in a server room. But first, you've got to get past those bloody psychos. I used to work with those poor bastards. Jesus Christ. Rebuilding it isn't difficult, but it does take some time. Follow the on-screen instructions and there shouldn't be a problem. Watch your back, though. Who knows who uh, and what is in there. Okay, so basically we got to go and reboot the entire security system. Now, like the guy said, it's not hard. But it does take time. And... When you have people like 
that roaming around and people throwing crap at you, it can get difficult. But I want to save the one in that room there, these two rooms here for last. I'm going to go ahead and open up these doors because these are the more easier ones to do. Remember seeing these here a second ago. Um, see, this sucker's pretty bad. It does a lot of damage and makes killing these things a whole lot easier. See, there's our first one. Oh, we didn't get it done before we got hit. I, I was afraid of that. I gotta get on the move because I'm running out of energy. Ooh. I'll have to go back and find that drink machine soon, I think. Is there any more in here? I think that's it. So we're going to start resetting uh, the ones in this room. There's only two. But it's the other two that could get a just a bit challenging because we got to deal with him. Um, but we'll go ahead and try and get this one. Hopefully he doesn't come in and get us before we get it done. It's like he's glued to... Let's open this up. To, um... To that computer. But while I'm in here and see all these things, I'm going to search to see if there was anything useful. This has actually been one of the easier times I've done this. Because normally he's done knocked me out about five or six times. But we finally kill him. He gives us a set of brass knuckles. Hope I didn't lose anything because of that. Nope, I got a spot for one more weapon. And we're going to reset this one. And now we got to go back and talk to Mr. Davies and see what else he has in store for us. You bloody made it? Good. The door to the parking lot is unlocked. And a large part of the system is up and running again. I'm just worried about the power in the parking lot. Okay, now this is where this part actually gets a l little bit more difficult. Um, it 
And the reason why I say that is because we have to inside. Um, basically kill a whole bunch of them. All at one time. Um, see, we got about six or seven over there. What I like to do is lure them in here and just start swinging. Now I know they can jump that and start chasing me. Why they don't, I have no idea, but they don't. But I know what I'm about to do. Because you got to get rid of that thug over there in order to really and truly get the the boat so I want to throw that and see if it'll kill the thug or at least get it closer to my size and he does it, it killed it so I can kill this Walker here. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be either. We we'll pick up twenty-four dollars, and we hop in the truck, and we get yet we get our first cutscene in quite a while. Okay, now we gotta jump back in the truck and we're going to have to deliver this thing back to the lifeguard tower. And as we are making the delivery, I am going to be ending this video, oops, going the wrong way, by saying this has been James from Crenshaw Central Gaming. Thanking you once again for watching. If you haven't checked out any of my other Dead Island videos, be sure to check them out. Uh, check out some of our other videos. Uh, we enjoy making these videos for for y'all. Um, check out my friend, my friends John and I. Uh, Andrew, they have some videos they've done on this page, and they have some that they have on their own personal page, which will be listed in the links below. I have my own personal page. I haven't put anything up on it yet, but I can I could very well be putting some stuff up on it here in, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll be posting um, the newer games on this particular channel and on my personal page I'll be playing retro video games. And I'll be posting a link to that in the description when I actually start posting videos for those. But let's walk in here. 
and Dr. John Seminoy one more time. Good job. I didn't want to say so, but I was afraid it might not be there. And he gives us 1,500 diamonds. And y'all come back and join me next time as we continue our journey through the island of Benoit and Dead Island. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one.